But I want to continue this conversation with California Democratic Congressman Robert Garcia, who sits on the Oversight Committee and has been in the room for the Hunter Biden deposition. Congressman, great to see you. I always thank you for your time. So what's been happening so far where you've been? Well, look, we've been uh, in the deposition now for about an hour, um, and one thing is crystal clear, and there is zero evidence. The Republicans have zero evidence linking uh, Hunter Biden to any sort of business dealings with the president. Um, this has been the case now. They have been on this kind of political sham impeachment now for about a year. Let's remember that it's Marjorie Taylor Greene that actually started this process. Um, but the, nothing has been actually uh, developed. Nothing has been found. And at, at the end of the day, what we're hearing is essentially we have a father who loves a son, a son who loves his father, and his father was never involved in any business dealing. So this has been a complete waste of time. It's an affirmation, once again, that there's zero evidence linking the president to any business dealings with Hunter Biden. And so what is it that we can expect for the remainder of the day there? Well, look, we're um, right now, uh, there will be a break. Um, there is going to be... Um, uh, next round will be another round of questioning. We'll start for about another hour or so, uh, where Democrats will actually be able to do some questioning as well. But this will go out throughout the entire most of the day uh, today. But so far in this first hour, uh, we have heard absolutely nothing. And, and, qu and quite frankly, it's, um, it's embarrassing and a joke that we are wasting so much time where we're on the verge of a government shutdown and we have real issues with national security across the country. This impeachment sham is over. Uh, there's no evidence. We need to move on. And, you know, you, you mentioned that we were just talking in the segment right before our conversation. Look at that clock down there. I mean, two days, 12 hours, 48 minutes, Friday at midnight. And yet there isn't a sense of urgency among some on Capitol Hill. Uh, what do you see going forward? And I mean, is this just like what we're going to be living through going forward uh, for, forever? What's what's really just a, a, a complete joke and, and, and it's quite shameful is that there's a good group of us in Congress sitting here all day in this deposition where we actually could be out working to get this budget challenge solved. Uh, there is no plan that's been presented completely. We want to avert a government shutdown. This, of course, as we know, impacts millions of people across the country. And Mike Johnson has absolutely no plan. What they do have a plan for is their obsession was trying to hurt President Biden politically. That's what this is all about. They don't want to solve the border because they want to hurt President Biden. They want to try to impeach uh, pre the, the president and hurt, and hurt Hunter Biden because they want to ensure that Donald Trump wins re-election. So we know that Donald Trump is calling the shots. He's controlling the speaker, controlling the caucus, and they won't even stand up to Vladimir Putin, who, as we all right know right now, is causing huge damage to Eastern Europe and Ukraine. So it's time to get back to work. Congressman Robert Garcia, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for being with us.